Hey, what's up you guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to broadcast live or stream to Justin or Twitch.tv. Now, Justin and Twitch.tv are the same website, just for a heads up if you guys didn't know. So, in the method I'm going to be showing you guys today, I'm going to be using the Broadcaster XSplit. So, there are other broadcasters or kind of live streaming programs you can use. I'd recommend using XSplit just because it's very easy to use, and definitely, I've definitely seen some, uh, some good results out of it. There are other ones like, um, I think there's an Adobe Media Encoder or something something like that, but uh, this is what I'd recommend to you guys. I'm pretty sure it is only a free trial, so uh, unfortunately you'd have to pay for it if you're going to be you know, uh, somebody who's consistently um, streaming a lot. But uh, yeah, so all you're going to need to do to, uh, to accomplish this is you're going to need XSplit. So uh, I'll link this down in the description, and uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and download XSplit. I downloaded 1.2. You can download 1.3. It really doesn't matter. It's all personal preference. I'm, I'm assuming they're basically the same thing, just with little, you know, little differences. But uh, you're also going to need a Twitch.tv account, and you'll also need to make an XSplit account, which I'll get into in a little bit. So um, before you before you kind of start with this, or you should probably you know make sure you know your password for your Twitch account because you're gonna need to enter that into uh, into the XSplit bot broadcaster. So that's all you need. All, that's all you need to do. Just download XSplit and install it. It's very easy to install. So uh, once you've installed it, this is what it'll be. So once you first open it up, it'll give you a little login, and you can uh, either uh, use your existing account or create a new account. So um, once you've created your account, I'm pretty sure it's a free trial. Again, I'm I'm not sure if you'll have to pay for it eventually, but um, you should you should be able to live stream a few times at least without paying. Um, I've done this a lot in the past, and I was using an existing existing account from a few months ago. So I'm not sure if it's you know if it's entirely. Um, this entirely free, but uh, once you once you've signed in and everything, you, you get this little window right here. Uh, a good thing for you know a little thing you guys should know is to change the size of this. All you have to do is go view, uh, view scale scale viewport, and then you can change like the size of it down to 20, 30, and everything. That's just something I thought I'd tell you guys. So now to actually set up your live stream, what you're gonna do is go over here into broadcast and click edit channels. Now I already have my channel in here, so I'm just gonna do like an example for you guys. What you would do is you'd click add, and it gives you these options. You can use Ustream, you can use other type of uh, you know streaming websites. But uh, in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with uh, Twitch.tv. So you type in your username here, you know, blah blah blah. And uh, I'm not sure if they do if they do um, stream keys anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if they do that anymore. But um, what you just normally type in is your password. And then uh, location, blah blah blah. It doesn't really matter. This stuff should be pretty simple. If it's if it's different, then I'll add that on the screen. Um, but yeah, that should be all you need to do. Really, all you do is click OK, and you get this thing right here. So I'm gonna click OK, and now to actually set up, um, you know, the the actual you know live stream basically. So uh, I don't have Total Media Extreme on this computer, so I'm just gonna be using a picture of it as an example. But uh, first, I'm going to show you guys how to do it if you were, you were to be recording a uh, an actual game on your computer. So, say he's going to play Crisis, and I wanted to live stream that. I go over to here and click Add, and then Screen Region. Now, this basically gives you this thing right here, where you can basically kind of highlight whichever part of the screen you want to be broadcasted to, broadcasted to Twitch.tv. So, uh, in this case, I'd be basically doing the whole thing um, because you know, if I was doing the computer game, you probably want the whole thing to be seen. So, all you got to do is that, and then bam, you can see it's down here. Now, before you do anything else, all you have to do is take this corner and drag it up because if you keep it down in the corner, it's still it's going to look like it's down in the corner when you're uh, when you're on um, Twitch.tv and looking at it. So that's what you do to broadcast your um, to broadcast a game, or if you want to just show your screen or anything like that. That's all you have to do. I'll show you guys how to actually get it uh, get the stream live. So. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and show you guys what you'd be doing if you had Total Media Extreme. Now, it's basically the same thing. All you have to do, again, is click Add Screen Region and go over this thing right here and, you know, just play your game like normal. That's what I did in the past. Um, you guys can't see it because it's black. But, uh, yeah, that's what I did in the past. It works pretty good. Now, here are some settings you guys are going to probably want to, you know, change a little bit. So, you can go into View and go into Resolution. Now, I put mine on HD... Uh, on 720p, uh, 1280 by 720. Um, if you guys don't have a great computer, I'd recommend downsizing, probably 480, maybe in, maybe even a little bit lower, probably down to uh, that is the minimum. I wouldn't go to that because that's going to give you a messed up um, aspect ratio. But uh, if you do have a good computer, you should be able to run this depending on what you're actually um, actually what you're actually live streaming. 
but uh, yeah, that's what that's the uh, resolutions you can change. Now the frame rate, unfortunately, you can't go any more any higher than 25 FPS due to the limitations of the free or the free trial for XSplit. So unfortunately, you can't get 30 FPS, but 20 FPS, 25 FPS isn't too bad. But uh, that's all you can really go with. Not really sure what to do with these things, but uh, you know, I just keep these normal. And now, how to actually broadcast? So I'm going to switch this screen region here so it makes it a little bit more convenient for me so um, I'm just gonna do this again and do this and all you have to do to actually broadcast it, this to your twitch TV account now make sure you've had you have this up here again your your channel um, all you have to do click broadcast and then click on it and it's basically done all you like right now I'm live streaming I'll go over here so uh, it'll pop up in just a second and that's really all you need to do. It's pretty simple, to be honest, but I uh, hope all you guys who are um, following my Twitch channel don't get mad at me because I've been testing this out a few times and it's kind of been... Uh you know, it's kind of been annoying how I've been doing this a lot, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, that's really all you need to do, uh, I don't really know how to add face cams yet, maybe if I learn that in the future I'll show you guys, but, uh, that's basically all you need to do, uh, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, I'd really appreciate a like on this video, leave your, uh, opinions of XSplit and live streaming down in the comments section below of this video, again, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out.